Hey everybody, welcome back to Garage Gear, I'm JB, and today we are talking about this Echo 770T leaf blower. We're gonna be giving it a quick spark plug cleaning. We're gonna check the air filter on it. We're also going to wipe it all down and clean it up, and then we'll talk about the fuel that we put inside it. Stick around. Let's talk about this leaf blower really quick. What happened was a few years ago, I had a similar backpack leaf blower and the piston seized on it and the engine just completely stopped. So what I did was I ripped that whole leaf blower apart and I parted the whole thing out on eBay. I made about $250 on all the parts. This leaf blower runs about $500. So I put that money from the previous leaf blower toward this one and basically traded up. Then Home Depot, where I ordered it from, screwed up my order somehow, sent me the wrong one, then eventually sent me this one and they took another $40 off. So this only cost me about $210. Can you believe that? Now, the reason I wanted this leaf blower was because it has tons and tons of power. It has 730 plus CFM coming out of that pipe. Then it also has about 230 to 250 mile an hour winds coming out of that thing as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a very, very, very strong leaf blower. And when I look at some of the electronic ones that they have nowadays, those ones, they crank out only like 150 CFM. They have absolutely no power. Geez, you know, I could whistle harder than that. So let's get this thing on the workbench and get it cleaned up. So now that I got this up here, you can kind of see that it is kind of dirty. We're gonna clean this all up, especially down here, our pipe. We're gonna clean this all up real quick. So the first thing we're gonna do here is get underneath this flap and inside you'll see our spark plug. We're gonna take that out and clean that. Take our cord off, take our spark plug removing tool. It's not too bad, but this thing will start up beautifully once we clean this up. So now what we're gonna do is stick it in our vise. Now I actually have another video on cleaning spark plugs and uh, basically we're gonna do the same exact thing here. So I got my torch, I need a flame, and heat this up. This spark plug works perfectly fine. There's no reason to buy a new one. I can just do this and this, is, this cost me nothing. I'm gonna heat this baby up until that tip at the end of the spark plug turns red. And that'll do. Now I'm gonna let that thing cool for about 10 minutes. Okay, so let's go back to our spark plug here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wire brush and I am going to simply just brush off all of our burnt on oil and grime, just like that, super quick. that and then we'll take our air hose and that'll do that looks a lot better ladies and gentlemen so now I'm gonna reinsert my spark plug just like that I'm gonna hand tighten it first then I'm gonna take my wrench and I'm just gonna tighten her down Looks pretty good. And we'll shove our cap back on. Good. Fit our cover back in. And there we go. Let's take a look and see what's underneath inside this air filter here. Now, I've never looked at this in the last year, so we should see probably a little bit of a mess under here. Let's take a look. Okay. Not too shabby. Looks pretty clean from here. I mean, that's spotless. <laughs> that's, wow. Even our air filter element here inside is spotless. Incredible. Wow. I mean, this is really, really clean. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take my air compressor and blow some air through this just to get any other little debris off of this, and that's it. I don't need to go buy a new one. I'm just gonna clean off what I have. So now we're gonna take our air compressor and a little trigger shot right here, and we're gonna blow out our air filter. I don't know folks, that thing looks as good as new. Now our air filter element, when I open this up, there is a little bit of stuff trapped in here and this thing's actually doing its job. So we're gonna clean out this too. It's not really greasy in here or anything, that's a great thing. I'm just gonna blow out any garbage that's inside. Gone. Air filter element.
Well, there we go. I got most of the fuzz off. I actually just went at it by hand just like this and just kind of pulled little pieces out of it. But other than that, this thing's in great shape. So this is super clean. We're going to take this, put it right back the way we found it, just like that. And that's all we need to do there. As far as our little grate here goes, this thing actually looks really clean too. Perfect. I'm blown away by the, how clean this whole unit is. And that's going to go in there just like that. And then our air filter goes like that. This may be hard to see, but I have a little bit of oil residue down below inside these little rivets here. And that's common with uh, two cycle engines, but we're just going to wipe that down. I'm just going to kind of dab this paper towel in here so you can kind of see, but see it's red. And that's actually from our true fuel and true fuel is actually red in color so there's no other issues regarding that just some kind of gets away and that's uh what we're cleaning up here today so as we can see i wiped this all up looks much better we're gonna put this whole thing back on we're gonna line the whole thing back up it's a little easier to almost do it like this first and just put the filter in and then the cover itself i'm gonna twist on our ends Now let's give it a quick pull, make sure it works okay. Choke it, prime it three times. That thing started up beautifully. So now what I'm gonna do in order to clean this whole thing is I'm gonna take a wet rag and if you can find a frilly kind of rag with all these kind of loose ends to it, that actually be better because it's going to get into all those little grooves and get them clean. I also soaked this in hot water. You might actually be able to see it steaming. So this is actually nice and warm. It's going to help loosen up everything on here real quick and easy for us. So after wiping that whole thing down, this thing is actually much shinier, much cleaner. The engine runs good, the spark plug's clean, the air filter's clean, this whole thing, even the straps are clean. I mean, this thing looks terrific now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so let's talk about True Fuel. Now, True Fuel is what I've been running in this thing ever since I bought it. As you can see, the color inside is red. This fuel is 50 to 1 mix. It's ethanol-free gas. It's 92 octane. And this thing starts right up, and you saw it first pull, sometimes a second, and this thing just goes. You can also see that it's good for chainsaws, trimmers, and anything else that runs on a 50 to 1 mix. This company also makes 40 to 1 mix if you're interested in buying something like that as well. I actually don't always empty out this leaf blower every winter, because I do use it throughout the winter to blow dry the cars, maybe after I wash them or anything else that I may have to clean up around the driveway or around the yard. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks again for tuning into Garage Gear. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for further videos. I got tons more content coming your way and I'll see you in the garage.